Yo, what's going on guys? Jacob here as always, and today I'm going to show you how you can put a ceramic top coating onto your pistons using Cerakote C186. So here is the step-by-step -step process. So first things first, your pistons need to be as clean as possible before doing this. If you have new pistons, then you don't need to worry about this, but if you have old pistons or used pistons, then you want to make sure that all the carbon is clean off of them and they're complete bare metal before you continue with this. Now even if you do have brand new pistons, I still recommend cleaning the surfaces to be painted with acetone. That being said, I have a video right here on how to clean your pistons like I have here. These pistons have 150,000 miles on them, which is about 250,000 kilometers, and I can show you how to do that if you click on the video link. The next step is to tape off the pistons and make sure that everything is covered with the exception of the surface to be painted, which in our case is the top surface. I recommend taping around the top of the piston and leaving a little bit of excess hanging over the edge of the top and then using a razor blade to cut away the excess so that you get a perfectly flat taped surface on the top to make sure that there's no lip or anything that can hang over onto the paint once we've painted the top of these with the ceramic. Also remember that any markings on the surface of the piston are going to be removed after blasting and painting on the top of the piston, so make sure that you put those markings somewhere else on the piston that you'll be able to read later after all the work is done. The next step is to clean the surfaces of the pistons with acetone, but before we can do that we need to make sure that we are ready to sandblast and use compressed air to blow off the tops of the pistons after sandblasting, and that we're ready to hang and paint our pistons so that we can quickly move between cleaning and sandblasting and painting and drying to minimize error. Once prepared and the surfaces of the pistons have been cleaned with acetone, the next step is to blast the surfaces with aluminum oxide blast media that is of 120 uh, mesh size. Make sure to get into the crevices on the top of the piston to make sure that everything is evenly resurfaced so that everything accepts the ceramic coating well. Two things to note. One, do not touch the surface of the piston after you have cleaned it with acetone. Secondly, do not use glass blast media as this is not aggressive enough for the surface of the piston. Once blasted, use compressed air to blow off the surfaces of the pistons to make sure that all loose debris has been removed. Next is to paint the pistons. So what we need to do now is shake the bottle of the ceramic coating vigorously until all of the sediment at the bottom of the bottle has been dispersed evenly through the fluid. Uh, this is a critical step, as they say in their instruction manual. With the Cerakote mixture shaken, the next step is to pour the mixture through a 100 mesh uh, paint filter into the paint gun. And the paint gun that is recommended for this is an HVLP spray gun with a 0.8 millimeter tip. This here is the gun that I'm using. I got it at Harbor Freight for 20 to 30 dollars. And finally, we're on to painting the pistons with the ceramic coating. It's recommended that you hang the piston so that you can spray it from the side as compared to holding it with your hand and spraying it to the side or having it sit on a surface and spraying it from the top down. It's better to hang it with a wire in some sort uh, like I do here in the video. So when applying the product, what you want to do is apply a full even coat across the entire surface of the piston and then let the piston sit for 20 minutes or so and then come back and put a second layer across the top um, and the instructions report that one to two mil of thickness uh, is proper for the correct application of this product. After the pistons are coated, be sure to remove the painter's tape from the pistons while the ceramic is still wet and then be sure to use a rag wet with brake clean to wipe off any residue from overspray that is on the pistons and to let them dry you do not have to put them in an oven uh, they just sit for at least an hour before they're touchable and 24 hours before you can handle them and it's recommended to wait two to three days before putting them assembling them into an engine and uh, they cure at the maximum of five days so do not start your engine with pistons that have been coated with this coating until after uh, five days since they were coated so my end result turned out pretty good. Um, there was a little bit of contamination with the ceramic coating for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why, if that was because it was a new paint gun or if somehow I didn't strain the paint correctly. Uh, regardless, the end result is still pretty good. I think it's definitely going to be usable on my engine. It should function normally the way it's supposed to. 
In hindsight, what I would do next time is cover the entire rest of the piston with tape instead of only the top half because I had some cleanup to do, whereas if I taped over the whole thing, I wouldn't have had to clean up the pistons. And hit that subscribe button so that you can stay tuned for the next episode that I'm going to be releasing about doing the side skirt coatings on these pistons as well using Cerakote C110 Micro Slick. So yeah, if you're getting value out of this content, definitely leave me a like and consider leaving a comment telling me what you liked or didn't like about this video. And be sure to check out my build series where these pistons are going into. It's a lot of fun for me and it's pretty cool. You should check it out. Anyways, you have a good one and I'll see you next time.